Faith and spirituality is about how we not only interact with God, but how we interact with other people. Uh, it, it really is about community. I've learned a lot in my 12 years here in Alaska. And one of the first things I learned is just this regard and respect that we, we have for our elders and how in our native communities I learned, you know, you turn to your elders because they've been there, they've done that, they know, you know, they have a knowledge that is, that's really linked to the earth. And so if we're going to respect our elders and if we're going to learn from our elders and grow in wisdom and knowledge of, of God, but also in wisdom and knowledge of who we are as part of this beautiful community, then we need to listen and care for and respect and honor our elder, the earth. Here in Fairbanks at St. Matthew's, they have this wonderful ministry of hanging coats and winter out, uh, outerwear it's around the campus of the church so that folks who, who need them can just take them. You know, they don't have to, they don't have to come and knock on a door. If, if there's a need, there's a, a coat there for them. Likewise, we've got pantries for people who might uh, need food. Um, that's really what the church is about when it's at its best. Maybe one of the hardest things that Jesus commanded us to do, this idea of loving one another, that's really easy to do on paper. And it's really easy to do when you, when you hang out with just people you love. A community, and, a, and particularly a faith community, we hope, is a place where you're gathering with folks who aren't necessarily just the people that you get along with, uh, just the people who you agree with. Um, and, and that's the hard work of reconciliation. That's the hard work of, of listening and getting to know your neighbor. I think that's one of the things that we need to do when we gather in communities, be willing to uh, challenge our assumptions and to be open to the other person. Now that doesn't mean that we need to uh, change who we are necessarily. But it does mean that we can't allow who we are, who I am, to let us fully understand and acknowledge and respect and know who the other person is as well. That's a thing that we seem to be losing more and more in this country. I think that faith community that's seeking to know God fully is also seeking to know God fully by knowing all of God's creation fully. And that means we, we do need to walk in the shoes of our neighbor, because it will reveal a little bit about who we are, and in all of it, reveal more clearly who, who God is in that. God is concerned about the earth. God is concerned about community, about us. Our job isn't to earn a ticket to heaven that is some remote, far off place. We pray that God's kingdom will be here on earth. What a beautiful place this is. God created it. We shouldn't want to leave it. We should want to celebrate it and take care of it and live fully into it because that's really what God's kingdom would be. The, the, the fullest and perfect expression of life in this good earth that God made. So when we come together as a community and we work together to try and make this kingdom a reality for folks, what a blessing for all of us. <laughs>